In order to find the equation from two points, I need to put together two previous skills. First, I need to calculate the slope from those two points. Then I need to use the slope that I calculated to algebraically solve for the start value. In other words, to solve for b. Let's go ahead and do that by finding the equation of the line that goes through 5, negative 13 and negative 2, 8. To calculate the slope, I can use the slope formula or I can use the mini table, which is my preferred strategy. So I'm going to make a table which only includes those two ordered pairs, 5, negative 13 and negative 2, 8. To find the slope, I need to find the change in y and divide it by the change in x. What is the change in y from negative 13 to positive 8? To go from negative 13 to 8, well first I add 13 to get to 0, then I add 8 more. To get from negative 13 to 8, I add 21. My change in y is 21. To go from 5 to negative 2, I'm going down 7. Minus 5 to get to 0 and then minus 2 more, negative 7. Therefore, my slope is change in y divided by change in x, 21 over negative 7, which is just negative 3. So as a reminder, this is my slope, which I'm now going to plug into my y equals mx plus b form to solve for b. So I'm going to write y equals mx plus b, where m is negative 3. y equals negative 3x plus b. Hopefully, this is seeming familiar. I'm going to use one of my ordered pairs then to solve for the start value. It doesn't matter which one, I'll just go ahead and use that first one. So in this first ordered pair, y is negative 13 and x is 5. So I'm going to write negative 13 equals negative 3 times 5 plus b. I'm plugging in one ordered pair that I know so that the only thing I don't know is b and I can solve for that start value algebraically. Negative 13 equals negative 3 times 5, negative 15 plus b. To find b, all I need to do is add 15 to both sides, and then I get negative 13 plus 15 is 2. My start value is 2. Now I know everything I need to know to write my equation. I know the slope, and I know the y-intercept slash start value. It's really common on assessments for students to stop here and to never put these two pieces of information together. So after you found the slope, after you found the y-intercept, go ahead and write your equation y equals negative 3x plus my start value of 2.